Good evening, everyone. Please remain standing. At this time, I'd like to call up Miss Allison McGuire to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Good evening. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the national anthem as I call it Miss Melina Wenzel. for a moment of silence for our situation that happened in Orlando last weekend. Thank you very much. Please be seated. Good evening. Welcome, Keyport Board of Education members, Union Beach Board of Education members, Superintendent of Keyport Public Schools, Dr. Lisa Savoya, our Superintendent of Union Beach Schools, Dr. Scott Ridley, who unfortunately cannot make it this evening, but extends his congratulations in regards to the class of 2016. Welcome, Keyport Public Schools administration, staff, parents, guardians, families, community members, and most importantly, the class of 2016. There's so many people I want to acknowledge for their efforts in making tonight possible. First and foremost, and I know our class observed this this morning, is our maintenance and custodial crew under the direction of Mr. Kenny Crowey for putting an entire day's worth of work and setting up for tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Wesley, your class advisors, the devotion and commitment they have dedicated to the class of 2016 from the start has truly paid off. It's, it's okay. <laughs> Miss Braithwaite, who puts her heart and soul into everything at Keyboard High School, her dedication and resilience to getting all of us ready for tonight. As we all know, it took a lot. <laughs> the teachers and staff 
whom I believe are the best high school staff in the country. <laughs> Amongst them, our 2016 Teacher of the Year, Ms. Lisa Wallen. <laughs> Thank you, Conscious Florist, for the lovely displays we see here this evening. Mrs. Kellyanne Applegate, Mrs. Liz Mar, and Mrs. Cheryl Questori for working diligently behind the scenes and getting everything ready for this evening. Our assistant principal, Mr. Kevin Flynn, for doing a terrific job in his first year at Keyport High School as the assistant principal and director of athletics. Our guidance department for the job they do in making sure our students stay on top of continuing your education, whether it's in college, or entering the workforce or joining the military. And our technology department. For the first time ever, the ceremony is being streamed live on Cable Vision Channel 15, Fios Channel 35, and our District YouTube channel, which can be found through our website. Now on to you guys. As I look out at this class before me tonight, so many emotions and thoughts are shared. I'm truly excited for all of you to begin the next phase of your lives, but saddened that you will not be in my school next year. You are a class that doesn't come around too often. You have it all. You've demonstrated success and excellence in academics, the arts, and athletics. In preparing what I wanted to say to you this evening, I sat back and thought of what it was that made you guys so special, and two words immediately came to my mind perseverance and pride. Together we have suffered through large-scale issues such as Superstorm Sandy your freshman year and all the way to the recent fire downtown. Individually you have suffered through large and small-scale event events that only you yourself can relate to. The thing that has always set this class and our student body apart from every other town and high school was the ability you all have to work through these issues, stand up tall, and shine in the face of adversity. From the moment you entered these halls as freshmen, I always knew you were something different. There was a fire to you. You guys had a pizzazz. And everything you had accomplished was always with keyboard in mind. You always wore red and white and always demonstrated what Red Raiders are. Pride is something you feel that leads you to an overwhelming sense of self-satisfaction. And you will always be keyboard proud. To quote a legend that has recently passed, the great Muhammad Ali once said, it's lack of faith that makes people afraid of meeting challenges, and I believed in myself. Believe in yourself, that you can accomplish whatever it is that's waiting for you and become that champion that I know you all can be. And a quote from another legend that has also recently passed, the great performer Prince. He once said, I don't believe in age. When you wake up each day, it feels the same. So each day should be a new beginning. I don't have an expiration date. Learn from your mistakes and correct them each and every day. That is what life is all about. And as it'll never be too late, and I share this with my own children, try not to grow up too fast. Experiencing the growth of each and every one of you has made me proud to be your principal. It has been a pleasure and an honor. I want all of you to take the skill set you have developed and go out into the world and show what Red Raiders are all about. And don't ever forget, once a Red Raider, always a Red Raider. Congratulations. At this time, I'd like to call up our superintendent of schools, Dr. Lisa Savoy. Some of my speech may sound similar to Mr. Waters. I say it's not redundancy, it's consistency. On that note, on behalf of the Board of Education, I welcome families, friends, staff members, guests, and graduates to the Class of 2016 graduation ceremony at Keyport High School. I've had the pleasure of standing in front of seven graduating classes at Keyport High School and have observed the growth you have made. Graduates, there are many people here today that are very proud of your accomplishments. Your families have high hopes for you. They are proud of what you have accomplished thus far and look forward to your future accomplishments. Take a look at them now. When you are taking photos after the ceremony, give them a hug and thank them for supporting you 
supporting you. Graduation from Keyport High School is certainly one of your biggest accomplishments, but it is also an achievement for your families as well. As I sat at my desk this morning, I decided to rewrite the speech I had prepared earlier this week. Why do so? From my office, I have a perfect view of Keyport High School. At 6.45 this morning, I found myself watching the custodial maintenance crew setting up for this evening. I reflected back to approximately four years ago when Mr. Waters approached me with the idea of moving graduation out of the gym and onto the front lawn. Thank you to Mr. Waters for this idea, as looking out to all of you graduates in front of a building established in 1927, I cannot imagine graduation any other way. As I proceed to watch, proceeded to watch the graduations unfold, I think about the contributions of Mr. Grander and Mr. Guevara. As Mr. Waters said, this is the first live stream class of 2016 graduation from Keyboard High School, something to be very proud of. On my desk was the commencement brochure for you, the class of 2016, that is graduating this evening. I'm looking at the names of our staff, a staff that is committed to all of your academic, social, and personal achievements attained during your high school careers. I see a group of staff and administration that are not only instructional leaders, but a part of your Keyport High School family. As the final chair was placed on the front lawn, I began thinking about many of the moments I experienced watching you grow as leaders. Graduates, you have grown immensely as students and contributing members of society. Do not forget that life is not always about financial donations and contributions. As a Red Raider, continue the tradition of giving back and being generous. Life is about choices and what you do when you must deal with circumstances you did not have control in choosing. This week, I had the opportunity to hear a speech that one of our graduates gave at Memorial School this week, at Union Beach this week. The final young lady, this fine young lady prepared a speech that made me choke up. Um, her speech included the strong academic foundation that she attained here at Keyport High School that has prepared her for her future at Brookdale Community College as a nursing major, might I add, with an NJ Star scholarship. In her speech, she wrote of her first choice not being Keyport High School as a freshman. As a graduating senior, she was proud to be a graduate of the class of 2016. Her speech concluded with her recognition of the Keyport family that she would miss. During the base basketball season this year, I got a call for about an injured student. These types of calls in the evening are quite upsetting. However, Mr. Waters discussed that he accompanied the student to the hospital, and thankfully the student was okay. Afterwards, I reflected on the story and was so proud to be a part of the Keyport High School community. Not only did both administrators step in and take control, but two of our graduating seniors were on the first aid crew that came in as professionals to assist one of their classmates. One of the crew members showed up, showed her leadership abilities as far back as Super Storm Sandy when she spent 11 days volunteering during a very difficult time. These are only two examples that demonstrate how prepared this class is for their post-secondary endeavors. Not to be ignored are the beach cleanups, the amazing drama club productions, volunteering on Friday nights to move books for the Friends of the Library. The list is endless. You are exemplary examples of what a Keyport High School graduate can achieve. I would also be remiss if I did not highlight the fact that the class of 2016 has accepted over $840,000 in both local and merit scholarships. Class of 2016, in creating your story, remember to make learning a lifelong habit. Time to dream big and small. As you sit with your classmates for the very last, last time, take a moment to reflect upon what you have learned in your high school careers. I wish you nothing but the best in your futures and know that you always have a home here at Keyport High School. Once a Raider, always a Red Raider. You're a part of the best kept secret of Monmouth County, Keyport High School. Thank you, Dr. Savoya. At this time, I'd like to call up our keynote speaker with a Keyport Pride speech, Ms. Jasmine Medina. Everybody. I would like to welcome all faculty, alumni, friends, family, and distinguished guests. But most importantly, welcome the graduating class of 2016. Well graduates, we made it. And as a group of individuals, we started from the bottom. Now here are seniors, looks like the whole team made it here. Now here are seniors, looks like the, ooh, 
repeated that, sorry. But today, my friends, we still have mountains to climb and obstacles to overcome. And these obstacles won't get easier. Life's challenges are rather more intricate and tricky. But yet, when we are being troubled by these entities, we must realize where we come from. Over these four years, Keyboard High School has given us a home. But now, after this ceremony, we will be beyond Keyboard High School. And when we leave here today, our lives reaching a new beginning, we cannot do this alone. Being a student at Keyport High School, you really get a sense of who everyone is, literally every single face. But this is what is so amazing about our high school. We're not graduating with strangers sitting to our left and to our right of us. And you are not listening to a girl you've only seen one time around the school. We are sitting here today with our future in our hands. And when these obstacles come to face us, we know we have our own network of people we can rely on. Friends attending universities all across the United States, some as far as Hawaii, others courageously taking the plunge into our armed forces, and some taking the plunge to the beach next weekend. But when we are in trouble and don't know what to do, we will remember what we have learned over these last four years. Whether it was a class, a sport, a club, or even a special teacher. We here at Keyport High School show resilience, dedication, and love for one another. We have helped each other in times of great sorrow. For instance, when friends of ours lost their homes and a time where our own town was up in flames. And when we consoled each other when we had lost a dear friend. So standing here today, I can honestly say I am proud of where I come from and I am proud to be representing Keyport High School. We come in as snot-nosed little freshmen, as Mr. O'Brien would say, and are leaving here today as a family, or what Mr. Keelan would have said. But taking the first step after today is only the beginning for all of us, and sometimes it's the journey that teaches us more than our destination. Street poet and philosopher Drake once said, Oh well, I guess you lose some and win some, long as the outcome is income, you know I want it all, and then some. Take these words from the wise one and apply it, because you never know where life is going to take you. But leaving this podium here today, myself, and all of you included, should be proud to call yourself a Keyport Red Raider, because no one builds them like us. Thank you, the graduating class. Thank you, Jess. At this time, the president of the class of 2016, Ms. Ashley Pileggi. Good evening, members of the Board of Education, parents, friends, guests, alumni, members of the faculty, and most importantly, our graduating class. My name is Ashley Pelleggi, and it is my honor to be representing this graduating class as its president. It finally hit me. Wow, I'm actually graduating high school. Suddenly I had an epiphany through an email from Mr. Waters. Maybe I should start writing my graduation speech. So here we go. Seriously, it's a great honor to be speaking in front of all of you today. It sure beats Thursday meetings after school. <laughs> this is a moment I've been anticipating for a while now. Writing and presenting a graduating speech is one of those hidden duties as a senior class president. And organizing class reunions forever, or as Marlon Bennett likes to call them, family reunions. So I apologize for the next 50 years of emails and Facebook posts and Twitter notifications you'll be getting from me. <laughs> Before I begin my speech, I'd like to thank a few people. My mom, who is my rock for these past four years and forever, through thick and thin. My grandfather, because he gave me everything I needed to succeed in life and kept a smile on my face. And my Aunt Heather, you finally made it into this one, so hopefully we can forget about me leaving you out of my third grade timeline. <laughs> Seriously, sorry. <laughs> All jokes aside, 
I love you all, and thank you for all the love and support I've been given up for these last four years, and the rest of my life as well. I wouldn't have been able to do it without you guys. Class of 2016! What can I possibly say? From diapers to diplomas, we finally made it. Over these four long years, this group of awkward 14-year-olds has flourished into one of the greatest, most unique classes that Keyport High School has ever seen. I think we can all agree on that. Yeah. Our accomplishments are like no other. We made it to states this year with our football team. The whole school sat in the stands of a field three hours away. Three hours. Some of us got tickets on that parkway ride. It was crazy. Yeah. Now, every coach asks their players to leave it all in the field. And that night, those boys would have made any coach proud in the state, in the country. If you couldn't be there, I'm genuinely sorry because you missed one of the most remarkable acts of sportsmanship you could ever see and watch a family, a community come together and console each other. It's not just about who cheers for you when you win but about who stands by your side when you don't. And at every game, every sport, and every season, keyboard teams will show you the best of both worlds. A special thanks to everyone who supported us through the fundraisers, the late nights decorating the hallway, the largest hallway in the school, the bleachers. You all helped make prom one that was to remember forever in our hearts, hopefully. And thank you to everyone who had to wake up early on weekends for car washes. To everyone who bought from those really expensive catalogs. I'm sorry. Without that, we couldn't have had the year that we had, or buy pizza, or fancy cups that change color when you put cold things in them. Honestly, it was a problem that I can never forget. It was a year I can never forget. So the point that I'm trying to make here is that to outsiders, we appear really ordinary. But a group of 105 children thrown together, all with the same goal, to get to graduation, to walk up and down this stage, to receive their diplomas, and go out and do big things in this world. You can look around and you'll see athletes, and actors, and artists, and musicians, and scholars. They're going to go on to build a community that everyone in this stand will be proud of. For as long as that we've been in this school, People have been talking about our class. We're a loud class. <laughs> Maybe we're troublemakers. I'm not really sure. Sometimes it felt like we were all too different. With all of these people, how do you find a common ground? How do you feel like one class? Honestly, I don't know the answer, but we found a way. And it's been such a ride. And I can't stand up here and take all the credit for that because that was an energy that came from all of you. And I owe you for that. So it's the class of 2016. They will talk about us for a long time. We did a good job. Congratulations to all of you, and thank you so much. Great job, Ashley. We didn't wreck everybody else's. <laughs> okay, at this time, I'd like to call up the salutatorian of the class of 2016, Miss Sabrina Fittipaldi. Good evening, fellow classmates, teachers, administrators, friends, and family. Today is the day that most of us have been waiting on for the past four years. People always say to enjoy your high school years because they go by fast, and they were certainly right. It's crazy to think that we entered high school as children, and now we're leaving as adults. Getting to this point in our lives is a very important step. Think about it. We made it through the endless nights of studying and doing homework, the continuous routine of getting up early each day of the week and sitting in school for six hours, 
and the stress and tears that built up for managing everything that goes on in just a single day. And then there may have been some of us who didn't stress as much and just wanted to be done with high school. The truth is, it may all seem dreadful, and it did seem dreadful to us at one point, but without those moments, there wouldn't be as many memories made, and we wouldn't have learned how to balance our time, or to deal with stress, or even learn responsibility. One thing I'd like to say to all my fellow classmates is to never give up. Keep striving to do the absolute best that you possibly can, because you can do it. I recently came across a quote that I found to be very motivational. The saying goes, I do one thing at a time, I do it well, and then I move on. In order to embody the ideals in this quote, one must be entirely focused on the task at hand, complete it with conviction, and then move on feeling good about the solid accomplishment. The next phase of your life lies before you, ready to become what you make of it. Each and every one of us has worked hard to get to this point, to make the best of your opportunities and you will be successful. Just remember that every accomplishment you achieve is added to the world's accomplishments. Your individual success not only influences you, but has an influence on others as well. Essentially, if everyone strives for success and lives up to their full potential, the world can be a better place. We have the power to change the world, so why not use it? Congratulations, my fellow graduates of the class of 2016. Go big or go home. Thank you. Great job, Sabrina. At this time, it's my honor to call up our valedictorian of the class of 2016, Miss Grace Henning. Board of Education, Union Beach Board of Education, Dr. Savoya, administrators, teachers, staff, friends, family, and of course the students of the class of 2016. Thank you for being here with us tonight. When I started to write this speech, I thought I was ready to leave Keyport. Instead, I find that my feelings are not quite how I anticipated them. I'm thrilled to be moving on to a new and exciting part of my life, and I'm sure we all are. But now the realization that I will not be coming here in the fall has sunk in. I thought that would be easy, but it's not. I'm getting sentimental because the last five years have been transformative for me, for all of us. As much as I was the first one to joke about counting down the days until graduation, the fact that today is our last day is bittersweet. I have changed tremendously since coming here as an eighth grader, and I've changed for the better. Most of us started here shy and uncomfortable in our own skin, but now I can see that we've emerged confident, self-assured, and I feel ready to take on the world. I think we can thank Keyboard High School for this. I believe I can speak for us all when I say that this school has helped us achieve our own independence. It has prepared us for what comes next, the future. I can't tell you what will happen after high school. And to quote Shakespeare, because anyone who knows me knows I make everyone suffer through it. We know what we are, but know not what we may be. It is impossible to predict who we will become, but I have complete confidence that we are ready to face the unknown. This unknown territory will provide us endless opportunities if we use the tools Keyboard High School has given us. Approach the next phase of your life as you approach being a student at this high school. First, get to know everyone. You never know who will change your life. Second, and I mean everyone, we have learned from our teachers, administration, staff, and each other. Benny, too. <laughs> and you will be inspired by others after today. Finally, know that what you learn from the people and experiences in this school and this town, however small, can help you change the world. The sport and com camaraderie doesn't end after today. And graduation doesn't just mark the end of high school for us. It serves as a bridge to our new lives. 
lives where we are free to finally pursue our biggest and brightest dreams and passions. Maybe you won't grieve the loss of the chicken patties, cold mozzarella sticks, or little families of cockroaches in the locker rooms, or as some administration would like to call water bugs. <laughs> Even those things give our school character. What you will miss is the incredible support system and community at Keyport High School that has nurtured us into the intelligent, awe-inspiring group of young adults we are today. I know that I am incredibly proud to call myself a member of the class of 2016. Congratulations to everyone. At this time, Ms. Jasmine Medina will join Ms. Grace Henning in the singing of our alma mater. Are you guys ready to sing with us? Yeah! You better sing. Keyboard I are alma mater to thee we give our loyalty ever bound in true devotion we will always faithful be as years roll by our love will grow we'll honor and respect thy name strive to bring the alma mater worthy credit and great fame so, so for this school to which we're bound by many a strong and loving tie we sing our song of admiration alma mater keep for In the moment you've all been waiting for. At this time, I'd like to call up our 2016 Teacher of the Year, Ms. Lisa Wallen, for the presentation of the diplomas. Will Mr. Peter Henning join us? Um, thank you for allowing me to be your teacher for the last four years, some of you for four. Um, it's been a pleasure watching you grow, so let's do this. Stephanie Paige Adams, Hawaii Pacific University. Nishambe Kalani Alfano, Brookdale Community College. Angela Rose Valletta, Lock Haven University. Jaden Lee Bieber, Brookdale Community College. Nicole Taylor Blackman, St. Peter's University. Noemi Carranza Mariano, Brookdale Community College. Jennifer Castro, Stockton University. <laughs> Olivia Sia, St. John's University. <laughs> Sophie Michelle Clark, Brookdale Community College. <laughs> Shannon Christy Costigan, Rutgers University, New Brunswick. Alyssa Igorova, Fairleigh Dickinson University. Paige Madison Alkovitz, Montclair State University. Tara 
Tara Nicole Engelhart, Alvernia University. Carrie Sue Engler, Brookdale Community College. Daisy Esteban, Fairleigh Dickinson University. Brenda Ferrer, Seton Hall University. Sabrina Dawn Fittipaldi, Roger Williams University. Brianna Nicole Freeman, United States Army. Marissa Rain Garcia, Alvernia University. Stephanie Goodrow, Brookdale Community College. Lacey Kyle Gray, Brookdale Community College. Megan Micheline Haliberta, Brookdale Community College, New Jersey Stars Program. Grace Cordelia Henning, Barnard College. Sherelle Crystal Hill, Montclair State University. China Devana Jones, William Patterson University. Alasia Arion Kemp Jackson, Brookdale Community College. Chardonnay Antoinette Lewis, Brookdale Community College. Allison Michelle McGuire, Laboratory Institute of Merchandising. Lady Malte Valencia, Brookdale Community College. Valeria Rebecca Martinez, Rochester Institute of Technology. Jasmine Yvette Medina, Rutgers University in Brooklyn. Mackenzie Joan Myers, Brookdale Community College. Samantha Jean Mitchell, Brookdale Community College. Olivia Nicole Perez, Brookdale Community College. Ashley Paige Pelleggi, Florida Atlantic University. Jordan Ann Pinto, Brookdale Community College. Carrie Ann Riley, Brookdale Community College, NJ Stars Program. Indra Reyes, Caring Hands Home Care Provider. Alexis Nicole Richards, Kane University. Victoria Elizabeth Richards, Kane University. <laughs> Haley Ann Riggler, Rowan University. <laughs> Alora Rivera, Brookdale Community College. <laughs> Gabrielle Rockefeller, Brookdale Community College. Gabrielle Nicole Rook, University of the Sciences. Samaya Slack, Stockton University. Kayla Tate, Brookdale Community College, NJ Stars Program. Perry Tremblay, Monmouth University. Michaela Sky Tusele, Brookdale Community College. Alexandra Nina Van Houten, Brookdale Community College. Brianna Marie Vargas, Kane University. Amanda Grace Walling, Brookdale Community College. Justice Alexandra Wilson, Brookdale Community College. 
Kamisha Anika Wise, Brookdale Community College. The President of the Board of Education, Ms. Ann Panzarelli. Matthew Antonio Acuna, Brookdale <laughs> Sammy Alicam, Brookdale Community College. Isaac Santino Alfano, Brookdale Community College. Travis Gregory Alvarez, SUNY Portland. Austin Beiser, Brookdale Community College. Marlon Stephen Bennett, Liberty University. Robert Bradley, Mansfield University. Jake Anthony Capuchano, the College of New Jersey. Kevin Castro, Brookdale Community College. Joelle Oraska Chan, Brookdale Community College. Stephen Joseph Chandler, Brookdale Community College. Casey Davis, Brookdale Community College. Dylan John Docknell, Brookdale Community College. Alexander Irvin, Centenary College. Jose Franco, Brookdale Community College. Apollonio Gonzalez, Monmouth County Vocational School. Tyler Goodridge, Brookdale Community College. Colt Gordon, Brookdale Community College. Joseph Michael Greco, Kingsborough Community College. Stephen Donald Gross, Seton Hall University. <laughs> Kenneth Harrigan, United States Marines. <laughs> Dylan Hausler, Rowan University. <laughs> James Hayes, Brookdale Community College. Rodrigo Herrera, Brookdale Community College. Charles Jensen, Workforce. Jared Alexander Johnson, Brookdale Community College. Lee Kantrowitz Jr., Edwards School of Heating and Cooling. Devin Donovan Keegan, the College of New Jersey. Kevin Kelly, the Paul Mitchell School. Daniel Paul Lajak Jr., Lincoln Technical Institute. Kyle Lewis, University of New Haven. Donald Joseph Longo, Brookdale Community College. Brandon Antonio Madrigal, Brookdale Community College. Nicholas James Margliano, United States Coast Guard. Brendan Martinez, New Jersey Army National Guard. Giovanni Luciano Merlin, Brookdale Community College. Preston James Mesmer, Brookdale Community College. Kyle 
James Mitchell, United States Marines. John Thomas Murray, Lincoln Technical Institute. Zachary Oaks, SUNY Portland. Michael Petnato, Brookdale Community College. Keyson Pryor, Montclair State University. Michael Russo, Brookdale Community College. Theodore Smith, Workforce. Zachary Smith, Montclair State University. Shane Smolskis, United States Marines. Evan Sebastian Smuts, Brookdale Community College. Devin Michael Spangler, Brookdale Community College. Brandon Michael Tunney, Brookdale Community College. Desmond Underwood, Will the class of 2016 please rise? Please move your tassels at this time. Keyport Board of Education, as principal of Keyport High School, I confirm that the class standing before you has met all state and local requirements for earning their high school diplomas. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the graduating class of 2016. Congratulations.